It was to replace her microbiome. But by and large, most of the bacteria that we will encounter in our lives are inside our body, not outside our body. And most of the bacteria are good, not bad. And that's what we call our gut microbiome. Our gut microbiome actually is an ecosystem of 39 trillion bacteria, most of it living inside our gut. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. That was Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician and researcher, champion of food as medicine. He leads the Angiogenesis Foundation, studying how diet can impact diseases like cancer and heart disease. His focus on natural plant-based powerhouses to prevent and even reverse illness has earned him recognition in a best-selling book, Eat to Beat Disease. Our gut microbiome plays a massive role in overall health, and Dr. Lee has identified some incredible fruits that can keep your gut happy and thriving. With these fiber powerhouses, you will discover delicious ways that you can transform your gut microbiome and boost your gut health to unlock a healthier you. And now Dr. Lee tells us more about these good bacteria in our gut. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Yeah, no, to, by juicing the fruit, you lose all the fiber. And what they do inside our gut is they, um, they eat the food that our body doesn't digest. Let me explain. So you take a bite of, uh, of uh, an apple, all right? And our human bodies are going to absorb the natural fructose, the sugars in the, uh, in the apple. We're going to get the vitamins. We're actually going to get some of the other nutrients that are going to be absorbed into our body. But there's a lot of fiber that's going to be left over, right? You know, the the, the skin that you eat, if it's an organic apple, um, the fiber uh, from – there's a lot of fiber in apple or pear. And then that fiber trickles down your 40 feet of intestines all the way to the cecum. And the bacteria there – you're feeding your bacteria, this leftover stuff. Whatever we don't absorb goes to the bacteria. I'm going to come back to that point because you're asking why are the chemicals not so good for us? It's because our bacteria get fed. But if it's normal healthy food, normal healthy fiber, our bacteria eats those that fiber and and in payback for feeding them, they the love that they, our bacteria show for us is they produce metabolites that are anti-inflammatory. These are called short-chain fatty acids or SCAFAs. Um, and they lower inflammation, they promote healing, they uh, streamline our blood lipids, they make our insulin sensitivity better, which is an important part of our metabolism. So the fuel is actually more rapidly absorbed into our bloodstream. You, nobody wants to have lots of glucose, lots of blood sugar at high levels all day long. And not good for our bodies, okay? It's like being stuck in a bathtub too long or a swimming pool too long. You know how your fingers wrinkle? That's not what you want. So you want your our blood sugar to be readily absorbed into our cells. Okay, those are, these are just partially what we know our gut bacteria does for us. So we got to feed them well. To feed our microbiome well, Dr. Lee has created a list of prebiotic foods. Among these are the following fruits. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I'm in the produce section again, and I'm in front of a whole bunch of apples and pears. Look, I love apples. You've heard of the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, this apple actually gets this doctor right here to actually pick some up because I love their crispy, sweet taste. Now, what's in an apple that's good for you? Chlorogenic acid. Chlorogenic acid lights up your metabolism by burning down harmful body fat. In the skin of an apple, by the way, is something called elagic acid. And you gotta wash it really well anyway, but if you want one that doesn't have pesticides, get an organic apple, which will have more elagic acid in the skin. That's what that does. That protects your stem cells and lights up your metabolism. One more apple fact. Apples are one of the highest sources of a natural bioactive called procyanidins. Procyanidins light up your brown fat to burn down harmful fat again good for your metabolism three ways and also helps protect your stem cells to help regenerate your body from the inside out. What's not to like about this? Go for an apple a day. Apples. To prevent apples from browning after slicing, you can dip or coat them in a simple solution of water and lemon juice. The acid in the lemon juice helps slow down the enzyme activity that causes browning. Use a ratio of one part lemon juice to three parts water. This will keep your apple slices looking fresh and appetizing for longer. Oh look, 
dried apricots. Dried fruits are something that I'm really going to be uh, trying to eat more of um, in 2023 because they're a great way to get dietary fiber and uh, the bioactives that are actually present in dried fruits as well. Apricots. Fun tips. Hold the apricot in both hands, with your thumbs on one side of the seam and your fingers on the other. Gently twist the halves in opposite directions. The apricot should split along the seam, revealing the pit. Fresh apricots offer the most fiber, but dried apricots are a good alternative for year-round enjoyment. Just be mindful of added sugar content in dried fruits. Cherry, please! <laughs> Cherries are another prebiotic which Dr. Lee mentions in his book. Leave the skin on for the most fiber, as most of the fiber is concentrated in the skin. Just be sure to pit them first. Choose between tart or sweet cherry varieties depending on your preference. Both offer gut health benefits. Make your own cherry chia jam using sweet cherries and chia seeds for a delicious spread on sourdough toast. This jam is packed with fiber and good fats thanks to the chia seeds. Grape. Concord grapes are another prebiotic which Dr. Lee mentions in his book. Unleash your inner chef and transform those ordinary grapes into extraordinary bites. Frosted grape skewers. Thread red or green grapes onto skewers and dip them in a mixture of melted yogurt or dark chocolate for a fun and healthy frozen treat. Top with chopped nuts or sprinkles for an extra festive touch. Grape and walnut chicken stir fry. Add halved grapes to your stir fry with chicken, vegetables, and a savory sauce for a sweet and tangy twist. And it turns out that if you eat um, a healthy food like a kiwi, for example, that has a lot of dietary fiber, you're, it will cause your gut microbiome to grow healthy bacteria within 24 hours. So it doesn't take much to actually start the process of rehab going. And that's really what we're talking about. It's a process. Kiwi. Get creative and fun with kiwis. Puree kiwi fruit with a splash of lime juice or coconut water and freeze in popsicle molds for a healthy and delicious frozen treat. Make a glaze with mashed kiwi and a touch of honey for grilled chicken, fish, or tofu. Those are cranberries. Cranberries. Dried cranberries, all right? These, it's not Thanksgiving anymore, uh, but uh, you can still use them. Uh, they're great uh, to really just kind of snack on. Cranberries have um, uh, a great source of elagitanins. They actually help your gut bacteria um, grow better. So there's a really good gut bacteria called Acromancia mucinophila. It loves to live in the gut. Uh, when you eat cranberries, your, your gut actually becomes a more hospitable environment for the healthy bacteria, boosts your immune system, helps streamline your metabolism. These are all metabolism, healthy food. Cranberries. Cranberries are a tart and tangy snack on their own, or enjoy them in a trail mix with nuts and seeds for added protein and healthy fats. Add chopped cranberries to your morning oatmeal, yogurt, parfait, or smoothie bowl for a burst of flavor, antioxidants, and prebiotics. There are foods that just can actually automatically boost our immune system by themselves. One of them is mango. You know, I love mangoes. They're juicy, sweet, filled with fiber. They got lots of vitamins, and they also have bioactives. And, and I call them mango, by the way. Mangoes and stone fruit, grand slammers of foods. These are foods, a whole table of foods I have in my, um, in my uh, book that all activate all five um, uh, defense systems at the same time, including the immune system. So you can slam it out of the park by eating these foods. Mango is one of my favorites. Tasty, juicy, sweet. You get vitamins, good minerals, and it actually contains these natural bioactives that actually can help boost your immune system. Mangoes. Make mango popsicles by blending mango puree with a bit of honey and freezing in molds for a refreshing and healthy treat. Puree mango with some vinegar and olive oil to create a tangy dressing or sauce for your dishes. Hey there, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite fruits. This is a peach, one of my favorite summer fruits, juicy. You can smell the fragrance. The peach actually comes from Asia. Uh, actually it was transplanted and transported along the Silk Road. And it's got chlorogenic acid. This is actually a bioactive that uh, actually does a lot of things. It um, cuts off the blood supply to tumors, it actually helps to protect stem cells, your health defenses. Also good for gut health, and it's also got a good amount of dietary fiber. Uh, but the interesting thing about chlorogenic acid is it actually helps your metabolism by fighting body fat. So you can activate your good fat and fight your bad fat using chlorogenic acid. Plus, it's just a juicy, great fruit to select during the summer. What you want to do is you want to smell it, and it should actually smell really good. And by the way, 
yellow peaches actually tend to be a little bit sweeter and juicier than white peaches, but white peaches are also delicate and great. Dr. Will Lee out. Peaches. Blend peaches with sparkling water and a touch of lime juice for a refreshing and celebratory drink. You can add a splash of sparkling wine for the alcoholic version. Top toasted sourdough baguette slices with goat cheese, a drizzle of balsamic reduction, and slice peaches for a delightful appetizer or late lunch. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here, and I wanted to actually share with you a food fact. Here I am at a produce market, and look what I found. I found pears. Did you know that a typical pear has six grams of dietary fiber? That dietary fiber actually feeds your gut microbiome. So when you want to actually get better gut health, eat a pear. Dr. Will Lee out. Pears. Roast have pears for a warm and caramelized treat. Top them with a dollop of ricotta cheese, a drizzle of honey, and chopped pistachios for a fancy yet easy dessert. Blend pears with a touch of ginger, yogurt, and a splash of milk for a creamy and refreshing smoothie with a hint of spice. Hey there, Dr. Will Lee, and I have got one of my favorite fruits I want you to know about. You will recognize it, most of you. This is a pomegranate. This is a pomegranate, it's actually a fruit from Asia. And inside this are a bunch of these ruby red seeds with juices. This really juicy uh, little seeds. So you can put them in salads. Um, you can actually juice them as well. Uh, and um, here's what's in the juice. It's got something called elagitanins. These are bioactives that can do a lot of great things. One of the things they do is actually they can cut off the blood supply to tumors so they can starve cancer by cutting off the blood supply. But the other thing that they do is they improve your gut health by helping to grow a bacteria called Acromancia. This is a guardian of the gut and garden of health, and it actually comes from the pomegranate. So don't be afraid to pick one of these things up and eat the seeds and juice them if you dare. Pomegranates. There are several ways to remove the seeds. You can cut the pomegranate in half and score the inside, then submerge it in a bowl of water and pry open the fruit. The seeds will sink while the membranes float. Focus on consuming the arils seeds where most of the fiber and prebiotics reside. Your microbiome is so healthy now. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.